நீயில்லாத நாளல்ல நாளாகுமா நீயில்லாத வாழ்வல்ல வாழ்வாகுமா செகண்ட் கிரானிகல்ஸ் சாப்டர் 26 verses 19 to 20 Uzia who had a censer in his hand need to burn incense became angry while he was raging at the priest in the presence before the incense altar in the Lord's temple leprosy broke out on his forehead when Azariah the chief priest and all the other priests looked at him they saw that he had leprosy on his forehead so they hurried him out indeed he himself was eager to leave because the lord had afflicted him azaria the chief priest and all the other priests warned uzia about the consequences of his action but king uzia didn't honor and respect their warning daring he stood to burn incense and the lord afflicted him leprosy broke from his forehead and he was sent out of that place for the rest of his life he was isolated and died a leper his son took care of the kingdom's responsibilities a question lingered in my mind from where did this thought of daringly burning incense come to uzia's mind he was a good king but how did he fall into spiraling thought in those days the king of people who worship idols had a habit of stepping up to burn incense and sacrifices for the idols In 2 Chronicles chapter 25 verse 14 we can see that Uzziah's father Amaziah burned sacrifices to other gods and idols so Uzziah wanted to do just like his father did and stepped up to burn incense there is spiritual truth behind this dear children of god and dear servants of god please pay careful attention to this we must never use worldly practices and rituals in our worship all we need to do is strictly follow what the inner and word of god says follow the scripture and worship the lord according to it dear people of god that really pleases the lord when god blesses you and takes you to a higher level in your life be very careful to handle the blessing properly you may be in a great position and you may be surrounded by great blessings but always remember to handle the blessedness of your life if you become proud and allow it to manifest in your life then the same blessing will become a curse to you be careful and faithful in the position that god has kept you be diligent in the responsibilities he has given you honor the work that has been given to you be the responsibilities of a ministry or church be the responsibilities of family or business or anything it may be honor it honor the duties and responsibilities god has given you also honor the duties and responsibilities of others in the incident we saw Uzia didn't honor the responsibility of the chief priest and ended up as a tragedy. So be mindful of honoring the roles and responsibilities of others. Respect others' place and duties. By doing all this, you honor God as well. When you honor God, he will honor you. At the right time, he will exalt you and take you to the next level. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God bless you.